hello friends i welcome you all from hltf tech channel and today i am going to tell you how you can see the sharepoint application or front end logs or for troubleshooting purpose uh, you may have experience uh, while configuring or while interacting with sharepoint application or site collections that you uh, some error message appears uh, something went wrong or, or uh, you may troubleshoot for more purposes for more details you may troubleshoot uh, time and date is mentioned along with uh, some ID unique ID for uh, recognition purpose so the question is that where all of these SharePoint logs are saved so let me tell you here that these logs are saved in uh, this location and what is this location let me tell you you will go into C you will go into uh, program files then you will go into common files and then you will go into Microsoft shared and then you will go into web server extensions here uh, it may be uh, like uh, if I go up till here there are three pages here it may be 15 or 16 depending upon the con and the type of configuration you have done so in my case it's 16 folder I will go here and here uh, there is a folder of logs so here you are seeing that all the logs of uh, application server are being saved along with the time and date and uh, if I want to see the latest logs I recommend you for uh, more for better troubleshooting you may install notepad plus plus I don't have right now so I'm going to open it in text note notepad here you are seeing uh, the logs all the logs are uh, shown here first of all it's telling you the time and date then its type of service that is executing uh, and who is responsible for executing uh, normally it's SharePoint foundation that executes this uh, log and then uh, it tells you about uh, the category then event ID level and then the message uh, this message is used to uh, used to further dig into the uh, issue that you are facing uh, and it uh, helps you a lot lot in uh, diagnosing and rectifying the issue so it has different type of logs here you can see that it's uh, SharePoint related config DB related upgrade related and uh, many other logs as well similarly you can also go into your front-end server my front-end server is 13 and uh, if I go in the same location you will see that the front-end server logs are generating here normally uh, front -end, uh, many services are configured in front-end servers similarly many users are being entertained by your front-end servers uh, distributed cache services uh, enable on your front-end servers so all these type of logs are shown here here you are seeing that uh, it's telling you about distributed cache uh, logs all of these logs can better tell you what actually distributed cache service is doing uh, it's going to call the SP distributed cache and uh, ULS initialization completed and there are many other logs if all is going fine there is no need to go into the logs for uh, because logs are always uh, good for troubleshooting but if you want to actually go into the into the details that what SharePoint actually is doing you can uh, dig into these logs to see what uh, type of services SharePoint is calling and uh, in which service it's doing which activity for example uh, in distributed cache service it do some different process in config cache it do some different process in config db it, it's do some different processes so uh, it's up to you you can explore these logs at your convenience or if you, you can explore these logs only for your troubleshooting purpose so for troubleshooting purpose what things are necessary the time date and exact time along with seconds is necessary and which type of service you are uh, dealing with so it will give you better idea 
when you are having more information while dealing with the logs. I thank you all for watching this video and I request you to subscribe my channel to continue watching more videos.